Russ here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a band that I found on another metal channel called No Nonsense Metal Reviews but from George. Uh, this is awesome. I'm, I find so much stuff on his channel and he just has this great passion for music and uh, a lot of like enthusiasm and, and knowledge of that. And I just sort of you know, Finder reminds me of myself and I just wanted to talk about this band here, Art and their album Take Up My Bones. So I asked him if I could talk about this band, you know, and do my little take on that. But if you're interested, I'm going to hook you guys up. I'm going to put his link at the end of the video to check out uh, George and No Nonsense Metal Reviews. Really good stuff there. You're going to find a lot of really uh, diverse stuff all across the board. He's got a lot of uh, big collection there, as you can see behind him in his videos. But let's dive into Ard and their album, Take Up My Bones. This opens up with Burden for Toll. This has this uh, really hypnotic hook immediately and then uh, lulls you into this sort of musical pleasantry I found like a little bit of a you know a, a river flow sort of esque type of a flow to this song right off the bat uh, really setting the tone for the story and the atmosphere overall a uh, great contrast of beauty and agony in this and I really enjoy the differing moods from the guitar work absolutely captivating guitar work Great to do right off the bat to hook the listener is really bring a lot of these melodies and a lot of this atmosphere and emotion to life right off the bat. I also thought the druid-esque sort of choir really adds to the bleak atmosphere and there's another element to sort of lure in listeners and it, the atmosphere of that sort of choir or that bleak atmosphere just really engulfs the song. So right off the bat you're getting quite a lot of complexity and dynamic atmosphere and emotion in Burden Foretold. And that choir that I was speaking of really opens up more in the title track, uh, Take Out My Bones. This truly gave off a funeral procession type of mood. Then as the piano slides in, it gently arrives. So does the sense of mourning. Sort of goes hand in hand with that, uh, with the piano um, uh, instrument or atmosphere and emotion to that. And I love the arduous sort of addition of each instrument. They slowly come in each one at a time Time, adding another layer to the song really helps build the atmosphere more and more allowing each instrument its own moment uh, in the song and then all sort of unite towards the ending or not towards the ending but a little bit later in the song it all unite for like this epic uh, crescendo it's just musical poetry is this song as you build towards that I thought that was absolutely fantastic and uh, take up my bones the next track I'm going to be talking about is raise then the incorrupt body this is very much a chapter in a novel to me uh, each sequence of this song feels like a page as you're turning and the growing, uh, the growth in the, the characters and describing the moods really uh, comes to life and many wonderful melodies to soak up in, uh, throughout this track. A great musical and vocal experience. I found it was just like so pleasant and enjoyable. There's so many different things to go back and listen to and try to soak up and enjoy one at a time. Um, I really felt like this song grows quite a bit. And one thing I liked to how um, this, how the first two songs sort of feel bleak the atmosphere this one that sort of felt towards the end of the song had this vibrant sort of sensation of hope towards the end i thought that was a little bit of a nice different uh change musically and in emotionally within the song and i thought that sort of added another layer to this and sort of took the album slightly in another direction but we sort of swing back well maybe not swing back that way in the next track which is an instrumental called bows of trees now this uh, Bows of Trees, I really felt like this could have been uh, the ending track, just the sort of way I felt it would have been a nice closing track for this. And I really thought this, even though this mood, uh, it has a dreary mood to this, I really felt there was serene tranquility painted within this track. And maybe that's where I got the idea that the, the moods were sort of brightening. This has a sort of calming, you know, serene feel to it. And I feel as though it's like the song paints this nice visual of like this last leaf has fallen fallen there and is still in harmony laying in the soil for when spring arrives the green tree will or the tree will become green again and that's sort of just this visual I got as this song opened up and progressed even more adding like each instrument and the atmosphere growing the emotion growing like uh, it may not have seemed like much at first because there's only a little bit but as the song grows the, I feel like the the track the bows of trees really captures more as you go along and there's plenty there to really soak up 
up. Now I wanted to sort of end on bows of trees because there's a, I don't want to spoil the whole album. There's two other songs, but I actually kind of want you guys to go over and hear George's thoughts on this album. So I'm not going to talk about everything, and then maybe you can like hear uh, his thoughts on the entire album. So I thought that might be a good trade-off. If you're interested, go check out uh, No Nonsense Me No Nonsense Metal Reviews. And I hope you guys check out. Uh, art and the album Take Out My Bones. Of course, I'll have all the links in the description below for you guys to check out all the songs and my other channels and all that stuff. And so until next time, folks, how about some heavy listening?